Like most other men on this earth, I like nothing more at the end of the day than to settle down with a nice cold one of these. Now, old Rishi Sunak, he's been playing around with the prices. Apparently, we will play, pay a different level of tax for this stuff when we're in a pub than what we will do when we're in a supermarket. Dressed it up, trying to sell it all to us. And that's not the only thing he's been playing with either. Everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're well. Let me know in the comments. Good to see you again. Thank you very much for the support. Sorry about yesterday. I had a day off. It was Jack's birthday over the weekend. And on the, well, it was actually uh, on the Monday. And the way I record everything for you to come out the following minute, it just wasn't going to work. I thought, sod it. I'm going to have the day off. And it allowed me to collate some extra stories and other bits and pieces as well. So here we are. Rishi Sunak, he's on a bit of a charm offensive, isn't he? Over the last couple of days, of course, we've had all the stuff coming out about what he's going to do with this and what he's going to do with that. And a few days ago, it's very ironic that he suddenly became the driver's best friend. Uh, he wanted to look into LTNs. He wanted to look into 20 mile an hour zones. He wanted to look into the fuel duty and he wanted to ha uh, give old Sadiq Khan a good bashing over the ULEZ, in effect, trying to butter everyone up. Well, there's an election coming very soon, isn't there? This is purely the reason. Now, I know I'm preaching to the choir here, but I wanted to get this off my chest. I think the whole thing is completely screwed. Labour are doing it as well. They're promising the earth. And what will they deliver at the end of the day? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Either they're unable to, they're unwilling to, or they're just power hungry and they'll say anything to get in. Now, the problem is, of course, all the while people believe this stuff, all the while people swallow it or in, indoctrinated by it in any way, shape or form, the same two will get in again and again and again. I feel now in our recent history, at least, we're coming to a bit of an impasse where many of us are waking up to the fact that this whole affair is not fit for purpose any longer. But the way the voting system is made up, how are the others got any hope in hell of getting in and making any difference? But the point I'm trying to make is don't swallow it any longer. We get this same merry-go-round every four or five years and they keep promising us and buttering us up Nothing ever changes, does it? So when you hear stuff about LTNs, 20 mile an hour, ULEs, cheap booze at the pub, and anything else that comes through, take a step back and think, is this really going to happen? Or is there an election coming up? I think you know the answer too. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. I'm off. I'll see you shortly with one more. Toodaloo.